Hello, Hello. we are Sua Kim and Sang Yan Lee from Korea University. We are the first authors in this article. It's an honor to introduce our study of strict anaerobe clostridium acetobic silicon. Before starting to explain our study, we would like to thank our advisor Kyung Won Kim for his guidance and encouragement. In our lab, the metabolomics platform is well established with analysis instruments like GC Tough Mass, GC Mass, and LC Mass with a powerful in house library. We have used this metabolomics platform for study in many fields, including microorganisms, plants, and human. Metabolomics is the study of global changes in the metabolism of a single living organism. Its workflow consists of the sampling, quenching, extraction of metabolized, instrumental analysis, and statistical analysis and biological interpretation. To obtain meaningful and valuable information from metabolomics data, it's necessary to establish optimal metabolism sample preparation. To date, the metabolite sample preparation methods for clostridium acetobutylicum, which was originally developed for E. coli, has been used without any evaluation under anaerobic conditions. The systematic evaluation of metabolome sample preparation for clostridium acetobutylicum have not been reported yet. Therefore, we systematically evaluated and optimized metabolome sample preparation for clostridium acetobutylicum, including the metabolome sampling under atmospheric or anaerobic conditions, as well as the optimal extraction solvents. Unlike other industrial strains, clostridium acetobutylicum cannot survive in air, as it is a strict anaer. Therefore, handling of clostridium acetobutylicum is normally conducted in an aerobic chamber, which is a tedious and expensive procedure. Metabolome sampling is also carried out under the same anaerobic conditions. However, it's questionable whether metabolome sampling really needs to be done under anaerobic conditions for clostridium acetobutylicum, as the key to metabolome sampling is to obtain metabolite samples that are closer to a snapshot of cellular metabolism conditions, but not to keep cells alive. Firstly, we compare the atmospheric and anaerobic processing for metabolite profiles. PCA results indicate that metabolite profiles were not affected by the air during processing. The peak abundance of 10 metabolites did not significantly differ between atmospheric and anaerobic processing at both pages. The possible negative effect of the aerobic sampling of clostridium acetobutylicum on its cell membrane integrity was not observed in this study. You evaluated and optimized extraction solvents for clostridium acetobutylicum. For metabolite profiling of clostridium acetobutylicum, AMW is commonly used. However, AMW was originally used as optimal extraction solvents for E. coli. As clostridium acetobutylicum and E. coli significantly differed in terms of the structure of their cell envelopes and their physiology, it's necessary to establish optimal extraction solvent, especially for clostridium acetobutylicum. In PCA results, the four groups were clearly separated at estogenic and solventogenic phases. In estogenic phase, WIPM and PM yielded the higher intensity of most metabolites. In reproducibility test, 50ACN, PM, and WIPM were the best solvents. Overall, PM and WIPM were found to be an optimal solvent at estogenic phase. In solventogenic phases, the higher abundance in metabolites was obtained by using PM or 50 ACN. The reproducibility of PM was the highest. Based on above results, PM was found to be the best extraction solvent. Therefore, you suggest that AMW replaced by PM for clostridium acetobutylicum. This is the first study evaluation and optimization of metabolism preparation for strict on aerobic clostridium acetobutylicum.